Hi, this is John again from the IBC here in Amsterdam as part of the coverage. I'm speaking to Alexi from the company Triaxis Vision. Now, readers of 3D Focus will know that Triaxis Vision have been developing software for some time that converts stereo imagery and video into auto stereo imagery. Why, what's the, the purpose of the software? Why do we need software that converts to auto stereo when it's just taken from two cameras? Um, there is a problem of auto stereoscopic field that from the one side we need a special type of displays and from another side we need uh, a special prepared content, video content, to demonstrate it in auto stereoscopic mode. And we solve the problem of uh, video content preparation. We have a software for offline uh, auto stereoscopic video generation and for online, for live video conversion. So. Right on this screen right now, this is this was taken by two cameras, like a yes. guy 3D broadcast, and you have effectively added frames in between the left and right eye. Is that right? So you've added multiple viewpoints. Is that correct? Yes. Actually, we uh, prepared uh, video in 2D plus depth video format. This is a special video format where the original uh, 2D images has a special plane named uh, the depth map. Depth map is just show how the objects near to the viewer. As the light object, light pixel illustrates the near objects and the dark, the far objects, the background objects. I know uh, you're quite unique because you uh, uh, is it right? You're you're using 2D plus two depth maps. Is that correct? Yes. Plus depths. This format is called 2D plus depths, and uh, the rendering core are inside this uh, display. And uh, and what we are doing is the software tools for video content preparation in such format. So that's incredibly impressive. What's what's this media player then? Where does this fit into the chain? This media player is able to play back video. Uh, content from a USB flash drive or receive it over IP or from DVB uh, broadcasting yes and uh, this uh, player is playback video inappropriate video format on uh, communicate with the display and control the settings of displays and allows to adjust settings for better viewing experience for the viewing distance and uh, to control the how uh, how effect will be strong or to make it uh, higher or lower. So effectively, uh, somebody uh, like digital signage, perhaps somebody could take this media player, yes. take a, a normal stereo program, put that in there, and that will convert onto an auto stereo display. Does it have to be Dimengo? Can it work with other? And also, ha are you limited to the amount of viewpoints you can create? Are you at five? Well, I think Tridality use five and then Dimengo use eight. Is, is there a limit? As far as I know, Dimengo generate 28 viewpoints inside this uh, display. Yes, and uh, as far as we have uh, depth information, we could generate as much viewpoints as we need. And, uh, and our software allows to prepare video content in multi-view format, and 9-view, 5-view, or 8-view, as much as you need. I, don't, I still work, I can't understand how you're creating the extra frames, but I guess that's top secret. Finally, what about real-time uh, conversion? I know you've got two cameras there. Can we see if that can actually turn that into auto stereo. Yes, of course, and uh, I'm really proud by the system as far as it's very complex task to extract the depth information in real time from the real view. And uh, I will show you how it works right now. Uh, this application is able uh, to generate video in 2D plus depth format and side by side for format and even simultaneously broadcast the streams in different channels for different types of displays. Okay, uh, now I start this application and we can see how the depth map is generated in real time uh, from these cameras. Then I uh, could switch the, our media player to receive uh, 
channels which broadcast to our IP. We can see it side by side stream. I could show it uh, on a screen. Yes, side by side screen. Yes. And uh, the more interesting for our auto stereoscopic display the channels with depth information. I could switch it in 3D mode. Yes, and uh, now we can see ourselves in, in 3D video format. Very, very impressive. Very, very impressive. Uh, because you've done that, people can walk around and have multiple viewpoints rather than, some people might ask, you know, we've already got the 3DS, we have 3D phones without glasses, but they're just for single viewing, aren't they? So something like this enables a lot more people to view a, a show on an auto stereo screen. Um, finally, right now, is there any information you can give in terms of uh, any announcements, any partnerships? Are you licensing this out? licensing the software to anybody right now or is it still an ongoing process? Yes, uh, we are licensing software for video content preparation studios and uh, I hope to meet interests from uh, broadcasting companies for those who organize say 3D video conferencing or broadcasting of say sport gaming into a pub or uh, other applications. I guess the Currently, it could be used in advertisement and presentation of the systems. Actually, just think of that, uh, uh, 3D video conferencing, which I still have of yet to see, would be great, wouldn't it? You could have two glass, two cameras on a screen, convert that and, as a 3D video conference, yes. which is the future, isn't it? Well, thanks ever so much. I think it's really, really amazing what you've achieved. And um, if you want to know more information, it's troyaxis.tv. Uh, but there's lots more information on my website, so thank you very much. Mm -hmm.